हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चंस ऑन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एज यूजुअल फ्रेंड्स वी स्टार्ट विद सिंपल क्वेश्चन टू क्लियर द कांसेप्ट एंड लेटर वी विल मूव ऑन टू डिफिकल्ट वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए शॉपकीपर अर्न्स 20% प्रॉफिट ऑन सेलिंग प्राइस एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड व्हाट इज हिज प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज ऑन कॉस्ट प्राइस एज वी नो प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज ऑन कॉस्ट प्राइस इज इक्वल टू प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय सीपी इनटू 100 सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड प्रॉफिट एंड कॉस्ट प्राइस एंड इट इज गिवन दैट प्रॉफिट परसेंट ऑन सेलिंग प्राइस इज गिवन दैट इज 20% we can write 20% as 20 divided by 100 0 to 0 cancel that is 1 by 5 and it is profit percentage on selling price so we can say that if 5 is the selling price there is a profit of rupee 1 and we know cost price is equal to selling price minus profit so cost price will be 5 minus 1 that is 4 now we have the cost price and profit also so we can easily find the profit percentage on cost price that will be 1 by 4 into 100 that is 25% that is our answer now we move on to our second question Before starting the second question, friends, please click on the like button down below to have more videos like this. Now, second question is: Prinka sold her watch for rupees five forty and incurred forty percent loss. If she sells the watch and incurs profit of twenty percent, then what would be the selling price? Means in this question, we have to find the selling price at a profit of twenty percent. So to solve this type of question. We generally take cost price as 100 percent. Means cost price is 100 percent. And in this question, there is a loss of 40 percent. So selling price will be 100 minus 40. That is 60 percent. And price is also given. That is rupees 540. So we write price 540. Now it is saying that if she sells. The watch at a profit of 20%. We have to find the selling price. So new selling price will be 120. That is 100 plus 20 is 120. As in this case, there is a profit, and we have to find the new selling price. So as we can see that 60 into 9 is 540. so we also multiply 120 by 9 to get the new selling price 120 into 9 is 1080 that is our answer now in this question he can also ask to find the cost price so to find the cost price we also multiply 100 by 9 100 into 9 is 900 means we can find the new selling price and we can find the Cost price also. Now we move on to our third question. Now third question is: A shopkeeper buys some lemon at the rate of two a rupee and same number of lemon at four a rupee. He mixes them and sell at five a rupee. And we have to find what is his gain or loss percentage. Means in this question, first the shopkeeper buys lemons at the rate of two for rupee one. And from one shop, and then he buys four lemons for rupee one from another shop, and he mixes them and sells them at five for a rupee. Now we have to find the gain or loss percentage. So there is a formula, friends, to find the gain or loss percentage. Gain or loss percentage two x y. X plus Y into Z minus one into hundred. The best thing of this formula is 
you don't need to find either there is a gain or loss you have to put the value and find the gain or loss percentage if the answer is in negative then there is a loss and if the answer is positive then there is a gain now according to question x is 2 and y is 4 and z is 5 so by putting the value 2 into 2 into 4 divided by 2 plus 4 into 5 bracket close minus 1 bracket close into 100 so 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 4 is 16 divided by 2 plus 4 is 6 and 6 into 5 is 30 minus 1 into 100 so 16 16 minus 30 divided by 30 into 100 16 minus 30 is minus 14 divided by 30 into 100 so 27 the 14 215 the and we know 100 by 15 is 6.66 as we did in our percentage section so minus 7 into 6.66 that will give us Minus forty six point six two percent. So that is our answer. Now negative sign come. So there is a loss of forty six point six two percent. Now we move on to our fourth question. Now fourth question is the selling price of twelve objects is equal to the cost price of nine objects, and we have to find the loss percentage. so in this question it is given that selling price of 12 objects is equal to the cost price of 9 objects and we have to find the loss percentage so there is a formula for loss percentage that is greater value minus smaller value divided by greater value into 100 in this question greater value is 12 and smaller value is 9 we can easily put the value 12 minus 9 by 12 into 100 that is 3 by 12 into 100 even the 3 3 for the 12 1 by 4 100 is 25 percent that is our answer remember one thing friends in this question it is given that find loss percentage but to confuse student he writes find profit or loss percentage and many student got confused whether there is a profit or loss so i will tell you how to check whether there is a profit or loss first he says that selling price of 12 objects means he sells 12 objects let's say he sells 12 objects for rupee 100 he sells 12 objects for rupee 100 now he has 100 rupees and from this 100 rupees he buys 9 objects means first he sells 12 objects for rupee 100 and from rupees 100 he now buys only 9 objects means there is a loss of Three objects, so we have to find the loss percentage. So there is no need to confuse. Now we move on to our next question. Now fifth question is the cost price of ten article is equal to the selling price of nine article, and we have to find the gain percentage. In previous question we have find the loss percentage, but now we have to find the gain percentage. And given that cost price of ten articles. is equal to the selling price of nine articles and there is a formula for gain percentage gain percentage will be greater value minus smaller value divided by smaller value into 100 greater value is 10 and smaller value is 9 so 
So gain percentage will be 10 minus 9 divided by 9 in 200. No need to confuse what is the cost price and what is the selling price. Simply find what is the greater value and what is the smaller value and put in the formula. 10 minus 9 is 1 by 9 in 200 and 1 by 9 of 100 is 11.11% that is our answer remember friends in previous question we have find the loss percentage and loss percentage is greater value minus smaller value divided by greater value into 100 now don't confuse in denominator whether there is a greater value or some other value. To learn this, everybody finds that low should be less and low is less when denominator has a greater value. And everybody finds that gain should be more and gain is more when the denominator has the some other value. And to confuse student here also, he can write find gain or loss percentage. It is given that cost price of 10 articles. Let's say he has 100 rupees and from 100 rupees he buys 10 articles and out of these 10 articles out of these 10 articles he sells 9 articles and get his 100 rupees means he has a gain of 1 article so we have to find the gain percentage that's it guys for this video if you guys wanna see more videos like this Click on the subscribe button down below and as always thanks for watching.